station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders. That bee sure seems busy. And so does that one. And that one too. They're all so busy. <laughs> well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down! You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi, I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be. <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijan, are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. Gotta chew, that's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha, 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 I rhymed again. <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. The nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then... We put it in the honeycomb. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Oh dear. This may look funny, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. <laughs> it's a bee thing. Whoa. Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer, Tabs. Bye, Bijan. Thanks for being you. <laughs> <laughs> It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa. Whoa! That one's blue. <gasps> that one is red, Tabs. Oh, and that one is green. Hmm, I wonder. Why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs. Let's go investigate. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm. Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Ready for adventure! Oh, no, 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 no! Never get too close to fireworks! Be safe! Give them some space! Okay! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Tax. We were just wondering how fireworks get their colors! Hi! I'm Penny! I'll spin you a tale all about it! First, you have to know 
know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast and sends the fireworks as high as a thousand feet into the air. Whoa! That's pretty high. Good idea, Tabs. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure. Whoa! Great! Even in the air, remember to stay safe and give them space. So colorful! Packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Comes another one, Tabs! Tabs! Are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending! You're right, let's go! <gasps> Here it comes! What an amazing show! And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny! Bye, Flippy! Always stay colorful! Activate Flippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Mmm, 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 salad. <laughs> oh, thanks, Tabs. Didn't know this lettuce was stuck in my teeth. I guess a toothbrush would help. Hmm, I wonder, how do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? <laughs> Great idea! We can go meet a toothbrush in a mouth. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. It's time to shrink down and go into a mouth. Shrinking down! We're inside a mouth! You're right, Tabs. We need a way to clean these teeth. Would a brush help? Hi, I'm Bill Brushy. And you are? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. I want to find out how to use a toothbrush to clean teeth. Well, you're asking the right brush. Hop on, and I'll show you the best way to clean your teeth. All right. Hey, Bill Brushy, is that toothpaste on your brush part? Yes, sir. It helps keep teeth healthy and food free. OK, now here's how to brush your teeth. Let's go to the front first. So, small circles on every tooth. Okay, that's the front done. Let's go to the back now. We turned, we flipped. Little circles round and round. All right, let's make some more. Circles, circles, circles. These teeth are the molars. I call them the chew crew, since they do most of the work. I know, Tabs, toothbrushing is a wild ride. Wow! I think I have the answer to my question. How do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? It cleans by brushing the front, back, and in between of all teeth in little circle motions. And that pushes all the food out from between the teeth and makes them nice and clean. Upload answer tabs. 
Thanks for your help, Blippi and Tabs. Remember to brush twice a day for two minutes each time for super sparkling tea. We will. Thanks for letting us ride along, Brushy. Bye-bye. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Oh no! Debo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blade, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow! These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? You have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait. Are we at the bottom now? No, you've reached my knees. Still a bit of a way to go. Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom. Woohoo! I knew you did. You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Debo! Oh no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Sorry, Tabs. I was just making a T-Rex shadow puppet with my hand. Aw, what a tiny dinosaur. Hmm, I wonder, what was the smallest dinosaur? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go back in time and find out. Going back in time! Whoa! We traveled 125 million years into the past, Tabs. Whoa! A dinosaur! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. 
and this is Tabs. You wouldn't happen to be the smallest dinosaur, would you? Oh, phew! I thought you were a scary dinosaur. <laughs> I'm Seamus. This is just my head. I'm stuck again. Never fear! Mina is here! Howdy! I'm Mina the Microraptor. Why do you say we try to dig my friend Seamus out? I might be only one foot tall, but I'm pretty strong. I've got an idea. Be back in a jiffy! Coconut shovels? What a great idea. Lucky for us, my four wings helped me fly up there extra fast. Oh, no! My coconut shovel broke. Mine, too. Are you able to move, Seamus? <gasps> Well, you did your best, but I guess I live here now. Maybe if we had something slippery, we could pull you out. Hey, I know a cave filled with super slippery slime! This way! Whoa, this hole is super tiny. Are you sure you can fit? Never fear, Mina is here! Be right back! Uh-oh. Are you okay? I got the slime! Yeah! <laughs> oh! I can't believe it! I'm free! Hooray! We did it! Roar! <laughs> I might be the smallest dinosaur, but even I can do better than that! Wait! Microraptors are the smallest dinosaurs? We sure are! And we roar like this! Roar! Ah! Scary dinosaurs! Run for your life! <laughs> <laughs> Ferocious friends sure are fun! And I got the answer to my question. What was the smallest dinosaur? The smallest dinosaur was the Microraptor. Microraptors are only one foot tall, have four wings, and lived 125 million years ago. Upload answer tabs. See you later, Blippi! Bye bye Mina! Uh. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Excuse me. That was a big burp, Blippi. Hmm, I wonder, why do people burp? Ho oh, ho, I can tell you, but it's more fun to show you! Off to the nearest mouth! All right, I'm gonna need frog legs. Frog legs confirmed. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! <laughs> Well, that was fun. Debo, you can open your eyes now. I think it's over. Here we go again! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna need monkey arms. Monkey arm confirmed. Whoa! 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 What's that? The esophagus. We all have them. It's a long tube that connects the throat to the stomach. Woo! Esophagus. That's a fun word. E soph a gus. <coughs> Whoa! He's coughing up a storm. <laughs> oh yeah! These are ideal conditions for a big old burp. Whoa! 
Oh, so cool. Careful. The bubble's delicate and can explode at any moment. <laughs> yes, get it! <laughs> oh, yeah! The bubble is all the extra air that this guy swallowed! It's like a trampoline! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Uh oh, too much bouncing! It's gonna blow! Whoa, -ho -ho -ho. The air bubble is rising up the esophagus and toward the mouth! <laughs> whoa! Excuse me. Oh, yeah! Experiment complete! <laughs> that was so fun! And I got the answer to my question. Why do people burp? People burp when they swallow too much air and it builds up inside the esophagus. The body gets rid of the air by burping. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. I think it's time to dance! Boom, check! Let's boom cha cha with boom. Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom. Race you to the ball pit. Okay, Blippi, huddle ball activate. <laughs> Whoa, silly somersault. <laughs> Awesome, Debo. Huh? <gasps> Is that a puppy? I love puppies! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo and Blue. What's your name? Lily. What a cute name. Great idea, Lily. <laughs> Blippi, Lily wants you to throw the ball for us. Okay, Lily and Blue, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Go fetch! <laughs> Look at how fast Lily's tail is wagging. Hmm, I wonder, why do dogs wag their tails? <laughs> Uh-oh, I think Debo's broken. Oh no! Lily's probably scared. Debo, try giving her a treat. Now hold out your paw so she can sniff you and know you're a friend. Yeah, Lily! All better. Do you want me to throw the ball again? She's so excited! Ready, go, fetch! Oh, she's so happy! Too hard, Blue! Oh no, is Debo okay? <laughs> Debo, you're all better! Hugs? <laughs> Not so hard, Blue. Good girl, Lily. Good girl. She's so cute. Hugs? Be gentle, Blue. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> Hey, look at how fast her tail is wagging. Yeah, dogs wag their tails as a way of showing emotion, like fear or, or excitement. <laughs> Just like my antennas glow different colors for all my different feelings. I got the answer to my question. Why do dogs wag their tails? Dogs wag their tails to show emotions like fear or excitement. Upload answer, Debo. 
Good girl, Lily. Good girl. <laughs> Holy smokes! A volcano! That's right, Debo. When a volcano erupts, smoke and hot lava come out the top of it. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a volcano erupt? Great idea! We'll go inside a volcano and find out! I'm gonna need wings, spider legs, and the heat shield! Wings, spider legs, heat shield, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! <laughs> is ready for adventure! Let's go through the side vent into the volcano! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it sure is hot in here! Whoa! Hey there! I'm Maggie the Magma Monster! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! We want to learn what makes a volcano erupt. You're in for a real treat, Blippi and Debo. Speaking of treats... <laughs> Below us, deep in the Earth, the planet's heat is melting rocks into liquid, also known as magma, like me. <laughs> You're right, Debo. It is like one of our favorite games. The floor is lava! Whoa! Magma becomes lava after it erupts out of the volcano. Whoa. So I guess I'm the floor. <laughs> Whoa! We're getting higher. That's because the more rocks melt below, the more magma rises here in the chamber. Hey, I wonder where this goes. Look out, Flippy! Magma! Phew, that was close. Maggie, you almost fill the whole cavern now. I sure do. And as I grow, the pressure inside the volcano builds until we push through the crust or the top of the earth. Hold on! Whee! Ah, much better. Maggie, what a blast! And I got the answer to my question. What makes a volcano erupt? A volcano erupts when the hot magma inside it builds pressure and bursts through the surface of the Earth. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, Blippi. Hope you loved it. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Bye-bye, Maggie. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! All right, let's have a picnic. There are a bunch of ants, Tabs, and they're all walking together. Hmm, I wonder, why do ants walk in a line? Good idea, Tabs. We can shrink down to ant size and find out. I'm gonna need spider legs. Spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Yo, welcome. I'm Anita, and this is my group of amazing ants. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Anita, we're here to find out why ants walk in a line. Well, jump on in our line and find out. We're going to get snacks for a big old potluck back home. Thanks, Anita. Sounds yummy. You betcha. Well, hi, Maribel. Oh, my, that snack you have looks delish. So, where'd you find the food? A heap of thanks for the info, Maribel. We ants exchange information through our antennas. Let's go, y'all. <gasps> Uh-oh. Nice birdie. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Hello? 
Hello? Anita? Hello, we're here. Right back on the trail, sweet pea. There's a trail? I don't see it. You can't see it because it's a smell. When we walk, we drop a scent, and the ants behind us smell it using their antennas. So ants have antennas instead of noses? <gasps> Look, your antennas are twitching. That's right. My antennas are a-twitching because they sense something tasty in this direction. Careful, y'all. Bumpy road ahead. <laughs> Anita led us right back to our picnic blanket. My word. Okay, ants, let's get some food. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Whoa! <laughs> Grapes are good, walnuts are yum, cheese and crackers, I'm tickled pink. I can't believe that ants can lift all that. Yes, sir. We ants can carry more than 10 times our own body weight. Okay, y'all, let's hop on that trail and follow the scent back home. Just like follow the leader. Now I have the answer to my question. Why do ants walk in a line? Ants walk in a line because the ant in front drops a trail of smells behind her, and the other ants follow it. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Bye, Anita. Great to be in a line with y'all. <laughs> bye bye, Blippi. Tabs, look at this amazing rainforest. You're right. I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder, what kind of animals live in a rainforest? I'm going to need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! This place is so green! They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do, actually. Hey! It's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Vine, the giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye! I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure! Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house. The juiciest shoots are at the top. Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey. Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. That's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream, unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing. There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, bye. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye bye. 
activate Blippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy. <laughs> I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, how does a guitar work? You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Rock and roll! That sounded great. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm picky. We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right. Okay. When I pick a string, it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note! <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> now back towards me. <laughs> <laughs> Solo! <laughs> well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it low! Thank you! Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard! We're going up and down, too! When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates, and the sound hole there makes it super loud, like, a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth. <laughs> Hello! Wow! That was loud! Right! Practice is over. Time to jam! One, two, three, four! Thank you! And now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. Bye bye, Picky. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, look at that massive skyscraper with a crane next to it. Right, Debo? I think it is helping build the building. Hmm, I wonder, how does a crane help build a building? Great idea. We'll go talk to the crane. I'm gonna need a grabber arm and extendo legs. Grabber arm, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Extendo legs up. Whoa! Hi, um, are you here to help me? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Sure, I'll help. What's your name? It's Kareem, Kareem the Crane. 
It's my first big job today. I'm kind of nervous. I get it. Trying new things makes me nervous sometimes, too. We'll help you any way we can. I spin my mast, my tall body around, and then I extend my jib down. The jib is my long arm. Now I can use my hook to pick up these really heavy bricks. Whoa! I can't stop it swinging! Gotcha. Oh, thanks, Blippi. I'm still learning, but I'll figure this out. Now you can help me with the roof. It's that big glass square down there. Glass is very fragile. You got this. I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. Now, take it up, Kareem. Oh, goodness! Look out below! Huh? Got it! Now, let's finish the job. <laughs> yeah! Isn't helping Kareem so fun? <laughs> hey, we did it! And now I know the answer to my question. How does a crane help build a building? Cranes lift heavy materials so they can be used to construct super tall buildings. Upload answer, Debo. Yes. Thanks for everything, Blippi. Bye. Bye, Kareem. I knew you'd be an amazing crane. Let's see what's inside. The Great Big Book of Curiosity? Whoa! What a curious kind of treasure. Huh? Yeah! Whee! Whee! Yay! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika, Debo, and Tabs. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, who were they? We better go find out. Hey, Blippi! Mika! Over here! Can you help us? We'd love to help. The name's Boom. We're looking for something that we need, but we can't remember what it's called. And I'm Benjamin. The thing we need is kind of shaped like this, but with a less bouncy stick. Whoa! Whoa! Booms away! Whoa! Oh! And it's frozen, like this. I'll get you out, Debo. Looks like you gotta shake it up. Oh, yeah. Shake it up. Whoa! Purple! No. Yellow! No. Oh, hi, Blippi and Mika. I'm Barry. Can you help me find something? <laughs> sure. We would love to help. It's usually red. Red? Got it. But it can also be purple. Or orange. Green. Or every color. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? Hey! <laughs> Hello! I'm Blue. I need the yummy for my tummy. You're looking for something that tastes good. It's a yummy and makes me feel happy inside. Oh, no! Hugs? <laughs> What's that? No, it's not that. Not that either. Was it... Boomsicle? Whoa! Oh, yay! Blippi and Mika, I'm Babel. Can you help me find this word? Let's sound it out. Something... Sickle? Tricycle? Bicycle? Whamsicle? Good idea, Tabs. Let's review our notes. 
It's rectangular and has a stick. It's frozen. It could be any color. It makes you feel happy. And it sounds like something sickle. Hmm, this is tricky. Popsicles! <laughs> you were looking for popsicles. Yeah! Hey, who are you all? Boom! Benjamin Barry Blue! Bubble! And we are the Curiosity Crew. Wow! I got the answer to my question. Who were they? They are my new friends, the Curiosity Crew. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Woohoo! All right! Rain will be gone soon, Taps? Great! Since I just finished my fun painting! Can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs! Exactly right! It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors! <gasps> Whoa! A rainbow! So many colors! I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs. We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. Guys and gals, attention please! The Big Blue Sky is proud to present Nature's Greatest Influencer! I'm Bowie the Rainbow! Whoa! Hey! It's me, Blippi! I'm a big fan, Bowie! I know all your colors! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I'm very proud of my colors! <laughs> Let me show them off one by one, I don't! Red, orange, yellow, green! Blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Blippi. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, super fan Blippi. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow, this cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step. Position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets, like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends or refracts and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila. That is awesome. I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy. Look at those ducks floating in that pond! Exactly, Debo! There's got to be a reason why ducks don't sink. Hmm, I wonder, how do ducks float? Good idea! Let's go ask that one! I'm gonna need duck feet and wings! Duck feet, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Here, ducky ducky! 
again, little ducky. Whoa, big ducky. Hang on, Debo. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Well, hello there, Blippi and Debo. I'm Declan. Welcome to the pond. You here for a swim? Well, we're actually here because we really want to know how you float. I never really thought about it. Oh, a, a stuck stew paddle with our feet a lot. Want to take a look? Good idea. I'll check them out. Hmm, we can't get close enough. You're right, we have our binoculars. Whoa! What do you think? You sure have webbed feet. Debo is right. You stopped paddling and you're still floating. Must not be my feet that make me float. Oh, I have an idea. Floating may have something to do with our feathers. Yo, Terry, let Blippi have a look under your feathers. It's a feather tunnel in here. And the feathers are kind of oily. See again, we make a special oil that keeps our feathers waterproof. Waterproof feathers! Whoa, is that a bubble? Bubbles? What do they do? It's air! Air bubbles are floating in the feathers like a balloon. Oh, so the bubbles help us ducks float. Hey, Terry, we have air bubbles floating in our feathers. It's true. And now I have the answer to my question. How do ducks float? Duck feathers trap air bubbles and air floats in water. So, ducks float. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Declan. Bye bye Keep floating. Bye, Blippi. Look at that snowflake! Whoa! Whoa! I agree, Debo. Snowflakes are beautiful. Hmm, I wonder, how is a snowflake made? You're right, Debo. We can go up into a cloud and find out. I'm going to need a grabber arm and wings. Grabber arm, wings, confirm. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> the Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a snowflake is made. We're way up high, and the air is very cold. Isn't it so chill? I'm me. Welcome to my cloud. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. It looks like you're working hard. <laughs> you're right. I'm a small particle now, but soon I'll be a big snowflake. Can you pass me those big water vapor clouds? The water in the cloud freezes on me, and then I grow more crystals. One snowflake can contain as many as 100 ice crystals! All of those ice crystals sure made you strong, Mimi. Here! Yeah! Go catch, Debo! <laughs> Now that I'm heavy enough, I can fall towards the ground. Follow me! Yay! Mimi, each time water vapor sticks to you and becomes ice crystals, you get even bigger and more impressive. Thanks! You have six points, same as every other snowflake, but your own one-of-a-kind design. Yep, no two snowflakes are alike. That means there's no one like me. That's why I'm called Mimi, a snowman. Perfect, I can land there with the rest of my squad. I did it, stuck the landing. Way to go, Mimi. <laughs> and I have the answer to my question. 
How is a snowflake made? It starts as a particle in the air and collects ice crystals as it gets colder and colder, eventually forming a unique snowflake. Upload answer, Debo. Bye bye, Mimi. Bye, Blippi. Even bouncier! Wow, what an amazing sandcastle! Wave incoming! Oh no! Looks like that castle was no match for that wave. Huh, I wonder, can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Tebs. There is only one way to find out. I need to build a sandcastle of my own. I'm gonna need the excavator arm and spider legs. Excavator arm. Spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for action. Let's go make a sandcastle that won't get washed away. Now we need to make ourselves sandcastle size. Drinking down. Feel that cool ocean breeze, Tabs. Hi there! I'm Krabby the Crab. Pleasure to meet you! Ooh, crikey! I don't know my own strength! Hi, Krabby! It's me, Blippi! And this is my Blippi Mobile! I love it! <laughs> so, you out taking a fun ride? Actually, Krabby. I'm here because I'm curious if I can build a sandcastle that won't get washed away. You came to the right crab. I'm a planner, digger, and a builder. I can help you, Blippi. Great. So the first thing we're going to do is build a moat. That's a fancy word for a hole. You see, the water goes into the hole and doesn't wash away what's behind it. So let's dig. <laughs> Dig, 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 Wow, what a hole! Now let's build a sandcastle! You're right, Tabs. We are going to need a shovel. Finished! Success! You already built it, Krabby. And our moat is perfect. The moat's the hole we dug all around the sandcastle. Great moat! And best sandcastle ever! Wave incoming! The moat worked, Krabby. This means I think I have the answer to my question. Can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? I can by making a hole around it to catch the water. Upload answer tabs. Thanks, Krabby. See you later, Blippi. Keep on digging. <laughs> Mmm, what's better than a delicious piece of fruit? You're right, Debo. Vegetables are yummy too. Hmm, I wonder, what's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Super suggestion. We'll go into that garden to figure it out. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Okie dokie, artichokey. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. All right, we're in a community garden where all kinds of fruits and vegetables grow. And look, there's one right now. Step right up. You're the next contestants on Slim Cucumber Certified Fresh Game Show. Fruit of Vegetables. Tell us your names. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> Blippi and Debo, a quick review before we start. All fruits have a pit or seed in them and grow on a plant with flowers. 
fruits have pits or seeds and always flowers. Got it. And vegetables are different. There are root and leaves. Got that too. Excellent. Let's play. Tell me, Flippy, is this carrot a fruit or... Ooh, the carrot is a vegetable because it's a root and has leaves. That's right. But can Blippi go two for two? So tell me, is this tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm, this is tough. Okay, a tomato grows from a plant, but it has seeds. It's also a vegetable? Oh, sorry. Tomato is a fruit. Now, your final question, Blippi. Can you tell me if this strawberry is a fruit or vegetable? Strawberry is a, a, a fruit. Yes, strawberry is a fruit. A two point two correct answers, which means this trophy is all yours. Wow, thanks, Mr. Slim. And I also have the answer to my question. What's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Vegetables are roots and leaves, and fruits have flowers and a pit or seeds. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Mr. Slim. Congrats to you, Blippi. That's our game. I'm Slim the Cucumber, and by the way, I'm a fruit. Tune in next time for our special guest, Madam Mango, on Fruit of Vegetables. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, look at all those adorable penguins. Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around. Wow, I think those penguins are flying. Wait a minute, those aren't penguins. <laughs> You're right, Debo. I don't see any penguins flying. Hmm, I wonder. Can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers. Duck feet, flippers, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> we were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippi. I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. The Shimmer Stripe Iceberg? Yeah, it's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on! I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. All right. Here we go. Whee! I spy detour. I'm going to catch some serious air. Watch this. Yay. Whoop. Pepper? <laughs> Almost got it. We just need to find the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Not this one. No Shimmer Stripes here. Whoa! Woohoo! Where could it be? Same as flying. 
flying, but we did catch some serious air. Pepper, you're soaring! I am? Ooh, ooh. You're right. I can really soar underwater. <laughs> Whoa! And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> Penguins can't fly, but they're great swimmers. <laughs> They also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dudes! Bye, Pepper! <laughs>